Hi YouTube, this is Queen Kimmy from Queen Kimmy Hearts Planning and I'm here to share with you the way that I am storing my crafter's companion craft boxes. Um, I didn't have room to keep them in the original box that they came in so initially I got some large giant um, now I forgot what they're called. Large giant Reynolds wrap bags. They're sandwich bags. There you go. <laughs> had a little moment with my brain. Initially, I had gotten some giant sandwich bags. The, the kind that they require for you to get an elementary. The ones that are like a gallon deep. But for some reason, my husband found ones that were huger than a gallon. And I put them in there, but I didn't like the way that they sat. It didn't really look organized. So I saw someone post in the group about these envelopes. If you look at it, it's envelopes that hold regular paper. But I actually put all of the contents of box one in here. And so I have all of my, all of my boxes stored in this. So you can see the pearls, the ribbon, the different card blanks, um, and the different types of pattern paper, your flowers. So, and then what I did extra was, this is actually a name tag badge, but I went ahead and I wrote on here what box number it is and what month it is, because sometimes when I'm looking through it or looking for it, or from looking at a tutorial, they may either say the box number or they may say what month it was in. So this is an easy way to help distinguish exactly which box it is and what month it came out. So um, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And... If nobody's told you I love you today, I'm here to tell you that I love you.